can explode it. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Our book for today is Pig the Tourist by Aaron Blabby. We borrowed this book from the Burlington Public Library. Olive is going to read this book with me. Oh, today. look at the piranha. Hmm. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, when he went on vacation, he'd cause great dismay. You could make careful plans to ensure happy travel, but Pig would destroy them. He'd make them... Untravel. Unravel. Uh Uh-oh, unravel. With behavior so bad, it is hard to describe. He would dampen your trip, he'd ruin the vibe. He'd break all the rules, and he'd flaunt all tradition, causing disaster was Pig's big ambition even in places of, of wild celebration he'd somehow create absolute devastation 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 and if he could shatter some an- ancient. ancient taboo he wouldn't think twice that appealing yahoo appalling appalling yahoo Parties, parades, and processions got wrecked in a blizzard of chaos and foul disrespect. His insensitive antics would ruin your stay till the locals would gather and shout. <laughs> Look at his sign that says, I'm a koala. <laughs> With donuts. Sorry, till the locals uh, would gather and shout. Go away. But that wouldn't stop him. He'd rock and he'd roll till his rollicking horseplay... Spun out of control. Nine news, chaos at the palace. Queen shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Red queen. <laughs> Look at his face. Unbridled and vast with his need to offend was his need to offend, but every wild party must come to an end. Yes, if you treat locals with little regard, they'll come back to bite you. And boy, they bite hard. <laughs> I guess that's not the explosion. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. He's learned not to ruin a whole holiday. But let us be honest, the truth I must tell, although he might try. Pig does not travel well. Is that going to be you? He's Going in to first Cancun. Class. No, he's in first class. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.